Damn, so this completely escaped under my radar. I did not see this until after I published that cider video, but... Goodbye, Jamel Smith. The Smith brotherly duo is apparently done in Detroit, as Jamel has been claimed by the Tampa Bay Lightning after the Red Wings sent him down on waivers yesterday. So this isn't really, like, the most impactful, you know, important. This isn't the biggest move in the world, but it is one that does kind of have a little bit of a sadder tale behind it, because, of course... If we go over to Jamel Smith, he was a former Tampa Bay Lightning guy that had three points in five games for that team last season. He got sent down on waivers this year, got claimed by Detroit, played three games with the Red Wings, and he did play with his brother, by the way, so very good to see there. But as Vladislav Nemestikov and Carter Rowdy started returning to the lineup, Jamel Smith and his need on the team was just not really the most desired anymore and now you take a look at it if we reload elite prospects will it say tampa bay it should say tampa oh it still says detroit hasn't updated yet i guess but either way jamel smith has been sent back over to tampa bay it's kind of funny how this tampa bay team has done this twice now claiming guys off of waivers that were acquired by opposite teams via waivers the previous few weeks. We saw this with Alex barre Boulay with the Seattle Kraken. Now we're seeing it again with Jamel Smith and the Red Wings. It's kind of funny how the entire waiver wire thing has been working out because we have been seeing this not just with Tampa Bay, but with Adam Brooks, for example, getting reclaimed by Toronto after going over to Montreal and Vegas. And then he was claimed by Winnipeg yesterday, too. So... Waivers, eh? We have ourselves a whole bunch of stuff going on with the NHL and the waiver wire situation that Elliot Friedman's entire Twitter account has just been kind of a meme status the past 24 hours and a bit, has it not? So hopefully we see kind of this waiver thing dying down, mostly because I don't like making these videos. Like, I feel like I need to make these videos because they're important, but... Come on, I'd rather talk about another topic for 10 minutes than go out there and make a video about Jamel Smith going back to Tampa, because this makes me sad. The Smith brothers are gone, man. Giovanni gets to play with his brother for a little bit, but now he is back in Florida. So, just going over the profile here to end off this video, I guess, because, I mean, I don't really think Tampa Bay fans need this, but here you go. 27 years old, 5'11", 194, a center winger, plays all four positions, making $750,000 to the end of the 2023 season, and... He had one point in three Red Wings games. He is on pace for 11 points in 34 games and a minus 23. So definitely a depth forward option, a tweener guy that's probably, you know, somewhere in the realm between AHL star and fringe NHL player. Obviously, Jamel Smith is not going to be the biggest needle mover, which is why this move isn't really the most important. But again, the acquisition going back to his old team and the Red Wings losing out on the brother. It does kind of sting a little bit, but either way, talk to me in the comments what do you think about the departure of Jamel Smith. That was fast, wasn't it? Three games played, then he gets sent back down on waivers, gets claimed once more, and now he is back in Tampa. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, is it not? I hope you enjoyed this Rush Roll 9 and bye.